Okay, you guys, let's try this again. I'm going to try to make this an abridged version because I don't think I need to go too deep into this. Um, as I said before, Angel Handley uh, contacted me today. She said, I'm looking out for both your petition, speaking of world star hip hop, and your list of people walking around freely after killing and assaulting blacks. I'm here for all of it, sis. I'm on standby. That's dope, Angel. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna try this one more time because we had some technical difficulties the last time I tried this. As you guys know, if, if there is a technical difficulty that can be had, I am literally the one that will have it. So um, with that said, um, I wanna go into who owns world star hip hop. We know that once upon a time, there was a black man, um, he couldn't manage to keep his life going for 11, 12 years after he started the company. Um, and the company has been sold. And so uh, the first stage of things, right, is to find out who directly owns the company. So who directly owns the company is Broadband TV. And I'm about to show you the founder. I'm going to be putting her Twitter page in the description box so that you guys can go and tweet her about how much you are disgusted with what's going on at World Star Hip Hop. Um, if you've heard this before, just ignore it. I just decided to do the whole video over y'all because um, I cut it short and I don't even know when I cut it short last time. So um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm also gonna put her Twitter handle in the description box. so that you guys can go visit her Twitter page, grace her with your presence. Allow her to feel comfortable and happy. And all that jazz. Make her feel so comfortable that she shuts down her whole Twitter page. That she never wants to come back to Twitter again. And I'm going to um, share my screen with you now. And hopefully I will not ruin things this time because I have like a bajillion screens going at once. Which is make my life a little problematic. So hopefully I can be more successful with this stream than I was before. So let's get into it. Here goes the founder and CEO of Broadband TV. She's an Iranian Canadian woman. Um, so World Star Hip Hop is not owned by an American company. It's owned by this Iranian Canadian woman. However, although she is making literally billions of dollars off of making a mockery of black people every year, based on their 2017 earnings reports, her company has um, a majority share of it owned by a group of Germans. And the German company that owns a majority share of broadband TV is called RTL. Um, first and foremost, I put her Twitter handle in the uh, comments. It will also be in the description box box please tweet her tweet 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 away tweet about how much you hate world star star hip hop how degrading you find the site how racist some of the content is whatever you want to tweet just tweet it just let her know about your dissatisfaction make it so that she has to shut her whole twitter page down because so many black people are tweeting her okay again her her twitter page is in the chat and i'm going to be putting it in the description box as well As far as the company, the parent company, the company that has a majority share of RTL, it's called Bertelsmann. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, uh, as far as the company that has a majority shell of broadband media, it's called RTL and RTL 
is owned by Bertelsmann. And these are some of the key players. One of the key players is Thomas Rabe, a German man. Bert Habetz, he has a LinkedIn page. So I'll be uh, putting that out. He's the CEO of RTL Group. Um, I cannot find a man, uh, uh, sorry, a picture of Elmer Hagen. Uh, so we need to get a picture of Elmar. Um, but I will be posting this link from Bloomberg because he is associated with other companies. And so we should have a little fun engaging him, so to speak. Uh, this company is, tra is traded on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange under RTLSA. So none of this money is staying in the country, right? Because Broadband Media is a Canadian company and the rest of these companies are German companies. Now there are two Bertelsmanns, right? There's Bertelsmann SE and there's um, Bertelsmann, and I can barely pronounce this, Spike tongue. And the head honcho that's over everything that owns for real, for real world, world star hip hop is this old German man right here named Reinhard Mann. Right? So Reinhard Mann is the head honcho who owns all of these companies and ultimately is the real owner of world star hip hop. However, everybody in this chain of command is important. Every last one of them is important, right? We want to make sure we reach out to all of them. So Thomas Rabe, Bert Habetz, Elmer Hagen, Reinhard Mann, and of course, our favorite Iranian Canadian. I can't even pronounce her name. Sharzad Rafati, perhaps? The two that are on LinkedIn and Twitter, we can have a little fun with, right? The rest, we'll have to see what we can do. So with that said, th that is kind of the bread trail or the money trail, if you want to call it, for World Star Hip Hop. And I really hope that this makes you look at World Star Hip Hop in a different way. I think when you put into perspective that it's a bunch of German people, the old German dude that owns World Star Hip Hop, does that make the site and its content seem a little different to you? I'm just curious. Like... Does the knowledge that with an Iranian female front, ultimately world star hip hop is owned by the Germans and there's an old German dude named Reinhard Mann who owns that propagandized site. Does that change how you feel about the content of world star hip hop? Does it make anybody that's watching it feel just a little bit stupider to know that it's German owned and that they're making billions off of it? And I wanna mention that World Star Hip Hop is one of the most popular sites in the world. So they're not just embarrassing us here in the United States. It's one of the most popular sites in the United States, but it is also one of the most popular sites in the world. It ranks in the top 300s which is significant because there are literally billions of websites throughout the world. And it ranks in the 300s, which means worldwide we get to be made fools of. Right? Worldwide we get to look stupid. Um, so... Again, you've seen pictures of all but one of the individuals involved that owns these companies. I'm going to go back through the chain of companies and the names of the individuals involved.
so that we know where to direct our energies. I haven't started the petition yet because I don't know. I was going to do it on change.org, but I, I'm confused as to who I should be petitioning. Like ultimately when we sign it, who it goes to to get it shut down. Because I would send it to the Iranian chick from Broadband TV, Miss Rafiti, right? Except for RTL owns the majority of her company. So that kind of means I have to go to RTL, right? But then after that, I mean, let's let's just go through it. Maybe we can figure it out together. So Broadband TV owns World Star Hip Hop. Broadband TV is um, headquartered in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm gonna be putting all this information in the description box because also I want you guys to start complaining with the Better Business Bureau. And you're gonna need their address and all that to do that. And so I'm gonna provide all that. And just like, we're just gonna, we need to overwhelm them with harassment, right? So um, Ms. Rafiti is the founder and CEO of the company. The company is out of Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. She's an Iranian Canadian. Um, I've put her Twitter handle in the chat and it will also be in the description box so that you can tweet her and let her know just how you feel about world star hip hop. Um, RTL group owns 51% of broadband media. And so if you follow the money to RTL group, we find that they're located in Luxembourg. Thomas Rabe, Bert Habetz, and Elmer Hagen. Thomas Rabe is the chairman, Bert Habetz is the CEO, Elmer Hagen is the CFO of RTL Group. RTL Group owns the majority share of broadband media that owns world star hip hop. Their parent company, is Bertelsmann and Bertelsmann owns 75.1% of RTL group, right? The founder of Bertelsmann is Carl Bertelsmann. Thomas Rabe comes up again, right? Cause he works for both RTL and Bertelsmann. He's a chairman and CEO, Christopher Mann, or Christoph Mann. They also own Penguin Random House, just fascinating fact, right? These are all German individuals. This is a German company. And at the top of the totem pole, is a rather old German man named Reinhard Mann. And that my friends, those are the people who are providing you all the pleasures of world star hip hop. Their faces are earlier on in this video. Feel free to rewind the video, take a good look at what they look like. Here, I'll show them all to you again, uh, really quick. And I want us to start with the chick that's on Twitter, right? And the one that's on LinkedIn, because we can make contact with those people easy. I mean, heck, she put herself on Twitter, probably because nobody knows that she owns. So here she is. I'm gonna put her Twitter handle. in the chat, tweet her, pass her Twitter handle around, tweet her Twitter handle. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's called a handle y'all cause you know I don't know anything about that stuff. But tweet her Twitter page out so that we all can tweet her, right? So we all can share in the joy of telling her how crappy her company is and what trash we find well Star hip hop to be. Tweet it out. 
and then tweet her directly. Make her shut her Twitter page down. So it starts with her. She owns Broadband TV. She's the founder and CEO, but her company, the majority share of her company is owned by RTL Group. Thomas Rabe is both the chairman of RTL Group and the chairman and chief executive officer of Bartlesman. Bartlesman owns RTL, a 71% stake. That's why we're, we keep moving, right? Because we're following the money. They own the majority of Broadband TV. Bertelsmann owns the majority of RTL. Thomas Rabe, Bert Habetz, Elmer Hagen, Christoph Mann, and then at the top of the food chain is Reinhard Mann. I wonder if him and Christoph are related. This is the face of world star hip hop, that German man right there. And oh, look, the contact information, all of this will be in the description box. You know how we harass each other online? I had, I, I've had multiple black people make videos about me. Y'all wanna make a video about this? You wanna spread this information around so that we can harass these people that are making fools of black people on a worldwide scale? I'm just curious, can we get that going? Cause we're so good. We are so very good at doing everything else. Oh, did he die? Okay, it doesn't say that. So then maybe Christoph Mann is who took over. That could be his son or something. It could be his son or something. Maybe Christoph Mann took over. Since you guys are doing Snoop work, is Christoph Mann. Because this is their website. Like I'm on their website. And they're talking about him like he's still alive. So maybe they haven't updated your web, web, their website yet. Yeah, because it says in 1998, he was named Entrepreneur of the Century. <laughs> but it doesn't talk about him after that. So if that's the case, then Christoph Mann might be his son. I don't know why they haven't updated their website, but that's where I got the information from. But we'll still put the contact for the company and apparently the contact for Dr. Helen Mueller, who is head of cultural affairs and corporate history and anybody else that we can find. And we should just start annoying them all. Oh, is Christoph Mann his son? Okay, yeah, dope. So I don't have a picture of Christoph Mann. So if anybody can find a picture of him, that would be awesome. So I'm not gonna stay here, but I just wanted to do the world star hip hop breadcrumb slash money trail. We need to see this site shut down. It's like not even a little bit cute that a bunch of German people are responsible for the content of world star hip hop. It's not even cute that an all out Iranian chick owns a 49% stake in broadband TV, which directly owns world star hip hop. And she's just on Twitter and nobody's gonna mention this to her. Her Twitter page isn't flooded with outraged black people talking about what a disgrace her site is. Well, maybe because we didn't know who owned it. We didn't know what it was, right? So now we know what it was. We know who's involved. And so now we can get to work letting these people know how we feel. Hell, if you're on Twitter anyway, 
you might as well. I mean, what do, what do you have to lose? You don't have anything to lose. And as far as the um, petition to have the site shut down goes, I don't know if I should push for that to Broadband TV, the Canadian company, because they can't really shut the site down, right? Because 51% of their company is owned by the Germans. But I feel like Canada has that fake sense of political correctness that Germany doesn't. So maybe if we put the heat hot here in the North Americas, the Germans that actually own World Star Hip Hop will be inclined to move along. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, get wrecked. Black people are doing the ones who are the disgra doing the disgracing stuff on it. But we can't go track down every black person in those tapes. What we can do is we could track down the five people who own the company, right? I mean, we have to be pragmatic about how we skin this cat is kind of what I feel like, get wrecked. I mean, if y'all want to do the work and find the name and addresses of all those black people, we could just go check them. <laughs> we could do that. But it's much easier to check the five people that are advertising it, right? Because a stupid person acting stupid in their own neighborhood is one kind of problem. A whole website where they compile information of stupid people, heck, for that matter, we could go after the people that are sending them videos, right? But it's just more pragmatic and it's a more direct approach to just get the site shut down. Then they'll have nobody to give their videos to. Right? But I have put, let me put it again, because we could put the heat, the heat on the Iranian chick first, the Twitter account to the CEO and founder of Broadband TV who directly owns World Star Hip Hop. And in the description box, I'm gonna be putting the information for all the other people. The German people who really own World Star Hip Hop. Um, and I'll have that petition up. I haven't forgot about it. Again, I wanna thank um, I wanna thank Angel Handley for putting this back on my radar because I had so much going on and just reminding me to come with this information and to get that petition up because I wanna see it shut down and see, look, yeah, the black people are a problem, but you know what, we, we can deal with them, but we can also deal with, we can also deal with the people making billions of dollars exposing this foolery to the world. See, here's the thing. When you act stupid, it's not immortalized on a website that's constantly funneling and collecting because it makes it look bigger than it is, right? There are literally hundreds of billions of black people in this country. Or not hundreds of billions, but you know what I'm saying. Tens of, tens of millions of black people in this country. That's a small section of black people, but they're getting a whole lot of shine. So if you know, if you don't have a Twitter account, don't get on Twitter, but if you have a Twitter account, tweet about this. Go tweet her. You know what would be very satisfying if she had to shut her Twitter account down? Because so many black people were coming for her about World Star Hip Hop. You know how she's visible? about making $7 billion off of having blacks be clowns and exposing that. And that's cool. We can embarrass her in the same way. Cause she's put herself on Twitter and I would be so satisfied to hear that she shut her Twitter account down because too many black people came there and complained about world star hip hop how inappropriate it was, what a disgrace it was, how it perpetuates stereotypes 
that are not applicable to the tens of millions of black people represented in this country. They're, they're taking an ignorant, poor sect of society or whatever it is. I don't know. I, I really don't look through world star hip hop like that. I've been to that uh, place twice for the first time the other day when we went there together and today, but I know what's on there because enough people talk about it, right? Enough people talk about it. And that's how I know. Right? So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go, but I encourage you to rewind this video. If you give me about five minutes, all of the contact information, names, addresses, all the info I have for the Germans that own World Star Hip Hop and the Iranian woman in Canada who owns Broadband TV, who is the direct owner of World Star Hip Hop, but not the ultimate owner, right? I'll be putting all that information in the description box. And I'm also gonna put a link to the Better Business Bureau, World Star Hip Hop thing. And this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to make on LinkedIn, right? Cause we have some direct contacts for people. On LinkedIn, I would love it if you guys would completely and totally embarrass Bert Habetz, the CEO of RTL Group. I would love on Twitter, if you manage to get Miss Rafati to shut her whole Twitter account down because so many black people are tweeting about how disgusting they find well star hip hop and how disgr disgraceful it is. She makes her money off the exploitation of, poor, ignorant, of, poor, of, of a poor ignorant minority of black people that do not represent the whole. And that she's tarnishing, she's aiding in the tarnishment of the name of the black community, the, the reputation of the black community. Just tweet her so much that her whole Twitter, she just has to shut it down because it gets so ridiculous. And then to the other members of the group, Oh, and then the Better Business Bureau, contacting them, complaining, complaining, complaining. Ha get World Star Hip Hop an F rating. I was appalled when I saw there's only been one complaint about World Star Hip Hop. One with the Better Business Bureau, just one. I mean, they don't do crap, but an F rating will send a message if enough of us complain. So I'll put, all, I'll put the link and the information you need to file that complaint in the description box as well. And then as far as all the German dudes go, right? The rest of the German crew that owns World Star Hip Hop. Send emails. I don't care what your emails say. Flood their inboxes with black emails. With black people unhappy. With how they're moving and operating. Um. Let's do that. You know, we could take the attention off of fighting amongst each other, you know, for a week, two weeks, three weeks, at least until old girl shuts her Twitter down. And we could pretend like we know how to come for somebody else. Let's just pretend, you know, like when you were a kid, you, how you played pretend, you pretended. Let's play pretend. Let's play like we know how to come for some people that aren't black. Let's just try it. It's just a suggestion, just one woman, it's my opinion. You know, you do what you do, but that would be what I would suggest. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Give me five minutes, I'll have all those links and that information in the description box. I thank you guys for joining me. I hope to see you later for my interview with Alan Roger Curry. Um, yeah, and I'm out of here, bye you guys.